update two on Hurricane Ophelia, which is still a significant hurricane in the eastern Atlantic and not moving particularly quickly, but it is starting to get a spurt on as it approaches the Azores. By our reckoning, it's a Category 1 with winds of 90 miles an hour and a pressure of 974 millibars as of the publication time. The National Hurricane Center is still going with 100 miles an hour Category 2, but same difference. 32.4 north, 31.4 west. Gale warnings are in effect for large parts of the Azores right now with rain warnings in effect also for the area. Obviously heavy rainfall will cause significant problems there. The storm is also expected to move towards the British Isles, including Ireland in particular, where it could make an extra tropical landfall there in around 72 hours. And it won't be too far away from tropical when it gets there, but I don't think anyone's suggesting at this time that it will be a tropical cyclone at landfall. It's a stage three on the CDPS right now. It's 490 miles southwest of Ponta Delgada. It's made around 300 miles in the last 24 hours um, and it's edging ever closer to those islands. It's starting to accelerate. The accelerations like this continue um, and uh, increase as it continues towards the northwest as you'll see on the map shortly. There's the percent chance of tropical storm conditions on your right hand side. Ponta Delgada 16%, Santa Maria the island south of there 49%. So a significant chance of tropical storm conditions occurring there um, and also you can see the chances of gale force winds occurring for places in the British Isles there now also. Um, chances in Ireland are in excess of 70% particularly on the western side and a chance of hurricane conditions or hurricane like conditions at least, hurricane force winds are also elevated there too. So we will, we will be watching in Ireland. So this is what we expect will happen over the next few days. We'll watch the wind field here. Not necessarily a tropical wind field all the way, but this is what we're looking at. Uh, the yellow area there, hurricane force winds. The green area expanding as it turns to post-tropical towards island there into Monday morning. Um, and then possibly grazing the coast very similar to where Hurricane Debbie did so in 1961. This is where the storm is right now. You can see the main reason why it won't be tropical by the time it gets to the British Isles. Um, the sea surface temperatures are quite low, 25 sort of Celsius there right now. Uh, it's done remarkable to hold on as long as it has already really. And that's probably because of the wind shear really helping it out there. Look at that, low amounts of wind shear has been low for the last 24 hours. Remaining low probably buys it another 24 hours as it moves towards the northeast. Pardon the satellite imagery because it's fallen out of the National Hurricane Center NOAA's predominant zone um, and it's now choppy imagery here, three hourly imagery that you're looking at on the NOAA floaters. And we can see generally the idea of how the storm's been progressing. It was flirting with Category 3 status once or twice uh, yesterday into today. Uh, it didn't quite get there and um, now we're putting it down as a strong Category 1, but it still could be a Category 2 storm as the National Hurricane Center implies, but we do expect they will bring it down sooner or later. Interests in the British Isles should continue to watch this storm for potential flooding and strong winds. Force 13's North Atlantic Monitoring Service has swung into effect to give you regular updates on Ophelia on the web. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13 all in text and it's the same on Twitter, at Force 13 is the handle on there. We're also on Skype, add Fool 13 on there and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>